The story behind it is funny because Tanner, Fox, as you guys know, was supposed to get it with me. Ended up being a dick. I miss the kid like crazy. Having him on my wrist is just always gonna be a reminder of him when I'm when I'm not with him. So we just taught Mario how to handstand here, and he was struggling a little bit, right? It wasn't that good, but for some reason, he somehow figured it out to like get it. Mario, I see your feet on the top. Mario, I can see your feet up top. I know you're not holding it. <laughs> if you guys want to see the work we just put into that, I'm going to play the behind the scenes now. I can't believe I missed that. I hit my knee so hard on something. Ow! I was trying to get you to do this. Ah! I'm too small. You could do it. Go. Mario tried it, and he ate it. Ah. <laughs> no, no, I don't bend like that. <laughs> 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 no food until you do your handstand, Mario. You know the deal. Why, right, you ready? Damn it! Mario! You said you could hold it for however long no. you want. He's not. <laughs> Mario's winded. <laughs> Why did you hold it? You didn't even make it to me! <laughs> Alright, we got this! I'm so tired! <laughs> oh, the first scuff of the new house. Oh, you're so fucking stupid. Mario, I can see your feet up top. I know you're not holding it. Hey man, that was that was good stuff. Subscribe. Subscribe. To my channel, that's what you're saying. To his channel. Yeah, yeah, because you don't have a channel, so like, subscribe to my channel if you guys are new guys. What's poppin'? Today is a new day! We need furniture for the new apartment because. No fucking couch! And we need to sit somewhere comfortable because my bum hurts on the floor. We're getting a couch today and we're sleeping on it out of okay. appreciation. Okay. You, you good? Mario, you good? Okay. Uh, Mario. Alright, we gotta leave. We have a Mario, we have ramen for the 400,000th time. And my beautiful girlfriend, look how pretty she looks today, feeling herself, god damn! It's or just damn, for the people who don't like that, sorry guys. Over here we got a Jordan in her natural <laughs> habitat, slurping noodles very loudly. <laughs> Proper Japanese. Cause it's rude if you don't. Tamagotchi, I don't know what that means, I just said it, I panicked. Six and a half hours later. Jordan? Babe, what are you mm. doing? I'll see you with you. I was just enjoying the view. Why are you talking like you've been asleep for an hour? Mm -mm. Well, I got so much sleep last night. I didn't wake up this morning early to edit or anything. I, didn't have, mm -mm. I was just looking at the view. I'm done looking at the view though now. I'm good. You're good? About 30 minutes later. Babe, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm looking at the view, babe. I'll try that one more time. 30 minutes later. Babe! Babe! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Cut. 30 minutes later. Babe! 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 What? I'm looking at the view. You can see my face. It was, I was just, it's almost sunset. I was watching you, the reverse sunset. Backward sunset's on the other side of the, this, where the sun rises during the sunset. I'm full of sh I was, I was asleep. Yeah, obviously. I was definitely asleep. I'm tired. I haven't been getting a lot of sleep because it's super hot in this new house. Our AC unit is kind of a broken unit right now that's getting fixed. I have been waking up early to edit and I've been moving and I'm tired, okay? So I'm gonna take a nap and I'm gonna continue the vlog. You didn't do both at the same time? In my dreams. <laughs> Ow! I'm trying to nap. Don't do that. And there is a common example of how Jordan treats the word no. Don't. Okay, work. then tell me to stop. Stop. Ah! Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> you scared me. Yo! <laughs> That's yo in Jordanese, by the way. It's a special language. You need to learn it before I speak fluent. So here's the. It's like three videos later. I filmed half a vlog, and then we went overnight, skipped 37.5 hours to the day, where we're on our way to get a sofa. Yes, it's been like three days. We still don't have a sofa. If you have my Instagram, go follow it. If you don't, go follow it. That made no sense. I have a photo of me sitting on the ground in our living room. Do we have furniture? Prove it. I'm not texting and driving. You're not texting and what two? When she was having your hand that you threw back there. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know who's talking about what. So I never really did an official roommate reveal. Ah! 
Mario's the new roommate, guys! The only reason I couldn't do something official is because like, I'm not moving in with fucking Justin Bieber. Like, you've been in what, like two of our vlogs? I've been in like 30 of the early vlogs. 30 of the early, early vlogs. But the Bo Bros weren't doing too hot, I don't think, back then. Bo Bros you know, were not it, we, hot. We, were, we were washed up back then. So I didn't feel like it'd be like some big reveal. I don't want to disappoint you guys. You know? Disappoint you. <laughs> Get out. Get out. We are definitely here to steal a sofa. Nah, but real talk, guys, we're actually gonna steal the sofa. We're not gonna actually pay for it. We're, we're robbing right now on the spot. Vlog, rob vlog. All the couches that, that we wanted, deal. all the big ones we deal. wanted were out of our price range, okay? I think we need to listen to the, what this place is called. Steal a sofa. We need to steal a sofa. Let's go. <laughs> Why did I just find a marijuana tree? I don't smoke marijuanas, but if you do, I highly suggest finding one of these and I don't know what you'd do with that, but. Heard it here first, the weed tree. I colonized it. Honey, oh, look at you. Beautiful room with a beautiful view. And I left my blinds closed, that is illegal. So basically we woke up today with the world on fire. Small fire happened yesterday in Westlake Thousand Oaks area, which as you guys also know, was where the shooting happened. I just wanna say verbally my prayers go out to the family and friends who were affected by that shooting. This world is becoming a terrible place and it needs to be fixed ASAP. You guys don't need to share your opinions in the comments, how you guys want everything to go. I'm just saying it's sad that you have to feel unsafe with your kids or your friends or your family or even yourself going out in public these days. The one thing I take away from all these shootings, I know a lot of these like high school shootings and stuff come from kids who are mistreated. In no way does that make that okay. I'm just saying sometimes you don't really know what someone's going through So I just live by like treating everyone and anyone with respect if you see someone who looks like they're having a bad day You know, maybe go up try to cheer them up if you see someone alone who looks lonely Just go up, you know Sometimes people need a hand or sometimes people need friends and they're just not willing to ask for the help You know and and it's our job as really good caring people to go up and, and do your part So all I can really say is treat everyone with love and hopefully that'll get us somewhere But we woke up this morning with the fires Everywhere there's one at Griffith Park one in Thousand Oaks one in Simi Valley the entire mountain of Malibu is burning down And I just got to my apartment and you can see the Griffith Park smoke Griffith Park fires all down there That's why it look at that's like a clean mountain. That's like a big mountain. You can see the smoke up there in the sky, too I'm gonna tell Mario right now We need to go to the rooftop to go look at the massive fire because from my rooftop it is going to look insane Then I need to drive an hour and 15 minutes to pick up a car that I'm gonna have for a couple days. Thanks J star Good morning Mario that's me, I, I signed myself up for Luigi. Luigi. Yeah, 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 <laughs> because I feel like when we hang out, that has to be me. You are Luigi. Because it's like a power duo, you know what I'm saying? You're, is Luigi little bro or big bro? Big. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm your big brother. I'm Luigi. Well, I'm the big bro. All right, guys, we're going fire hunting right now. This is our rooftop on the 16th floor of this building. So this railing is not not to jump. It's just there for safety, precaution. But nothing says don't jump it, so we're going to jump it. Oh! My god, that entire mountain is on fire all the way there. And then Griffith is on fire all the way there. Found another fire with a helicopter. That's a different one. That's the Simi one, I think. Holy hell. Actively burning. Reactions to Big Malibu fire. Yeah. Wow, that sucks. Seriously though? I hope everyone's okay. I hope everyone was evacuated. Are you doing that? Yeah. Mar, you're gonna hurt yourself 100%. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> We don't live here, this is not our building. We live in a different- <laughs> You struggling, buddy? Right, DIY about. foam pit. Catch my clock. Oh, don't have enough hands. Extra support right there. <laughs> we have made a foam pit successfully on a roof. Ow, you shocked me, I'm okay. Oh, you remember that flip I just did on the roof? I had a key, okay? And well, here's the problem is I don't have my key anymore. And the only place I had my key was on the roof, so. Back to the roof! You did this oh, to I me. You said, you said, and I quote, you said, do a flip, it'll be cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be like one of those- <laughs> Yes! Yes! I was just gonna say, this is gonna be one of those moments where it just feels amazing to find something, but that didn't feel that good. I feel like we just like, we just, now like we just spent- we should put it back and look for it more so it's more rewarding. Yeah, it's gonna be that. Right? Guys, we found flames, and it's on manual focus, so I'm sorry about that, but it's a tree, okay. No, never mind. Mario, yes. we're picking up a new whip for the week. I got us, don't stress. Hi Mario, big reveal. It's this one right here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding guys. Sorry if it's windy by the way. It might be something a little similar to that right there. I found it guys, it's over there. We getting a mozzie. We got the new whip for the week thanks to J-Star. Ooh. Oh, Mario. The best thing about a Maserati isn't that it's a Maserati. It's just that it's a new car and smells like new car. Okay, we can go luxury for a little week. I'm down. This ain't a bad cockpit view, but I need to move the seat up because I'm very short. It's Jordan's first time in a Maserati, and we're going to pick up a puppy that she's surprising her friend with. For my videos, 
You can't use any of this footage. I'm dude. using it. I'm gonna title my video, My Girlfriend Buys Her Best Friend Puppy. <laughs> People are watching like, okay, what let's, the fuck did you do? Let's title this video, pull the seat forward like 14 feet, please. <laughs> I think I like it like this. Really? I think I like it like this. Oh. Alright, we are in a rush. We gotta go. My entire life. So I wanted to end out this video with something I think a lot of you guys have been asking for a very, 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 very long time. Something I've saved up to at least I got to a certain point in my tattoo career. I have about nearly 20 tattoos and I think I've told you guys maybe what one or two of them meant because the last time I did something along these lines was when I had literally had two or three tattoos. So to wrap up this beautiful video, I'm going to tell you guys what my tattoos mean. Every single one of them and I will tell you. Not every one of them have meaning, so I'll tell you which ones don't have meaning. They have reason for why I got them, but they don't have meaning, okay? So, we're gonna start with my lip. For some of you that didn't even know I had this says... Bros, okay? Bros, if you guys are OGs, you guys know bros is what we called our fan base when the channel was Bo Bros back when it was me and my brother. Kind of a play on bros, but bros, <laughs> the way our last name is spelled. I got that tattoo more of like a memory of our channel. I got it towards the end of our channel when I knew our channel was gonna have to come to an end, and I wanted to put something on my lip. The lip tattoo idea kind of concept to me is like something that only you really know you have because not a lot of people see it. At the end of the day, other people know, but it was really just something I got for me, okay? I'm gonna do these three right here. Oh, actually, I can actually sit like this. I'm gonna do these three as like a combination. This says adventure and above it is mountains and below it is waves. So what that kind of symbolizes for me is I am a beach kid at heart, which brings me to this tattoo. The palm tree tattoo is just symbolizes that I am a beach kid. Like I need palm trees. I could not live in a state that doesn't have a beach. I, I don't even like going to states that don't have beaches. It's hard for me. And I don't even need to go to the beach. I just need to know that I'm next to it. And even if I watch something that involves the beach, a video or something, I just love the beach. Okay. But I'm also weird in the way that I literally love forests, like real oak tree, more so pine tree forest with fog rolling in, sun going through, it. whatever the weather is, I just love that. Going to Lake Arrowhead, Big Bear, any of that literally brings me to such a good place. So I decided to put adventure in the middle of it because I'm the most adventurous person in the world. I love hikes, I love, I just love doing shit, honestly. And so I put adventure in the middle of the ocean and mountains because I literally like adventuring everywhere. I wanted to kind of sandwich the word adventure in between my two favorite places to adventure. Up above this, I have a moon right here, as you guys can see. The moon Moon is geometric. Most of this like style sleeve is it's all geometric themed. The moon is a funny story because Baird, Baird Stodek, as you guys know, one of my best friends, one like a brother to me. I was like asking for tattoo ideas and he was like, dude, you should get a moon for me. I, he just liked a moon, right? Literally went like that day and came back with a moon. And then I put a little play button in the middle of it, as you can see there, just to symbolize like YouTube. I have a rose, so none of these mean anything besides the coffee pot. The coffee pot, I just thought it was a cool idea. It's kind of hipster of me. I just love coffee. I drink coffee every day. I'm an addict. I'm addicted to coffee. It's a problem, but I love it. So we're gonna leave that there. I will switch here. These three right here are literally just things. I saw Vince actually did this on someone a long time ago, and I should have got it done by Vince, but I didn't. But also shout out to Hunter who did it. Um, you killed it. I just, I think I saw that idea and I just thought it was a really cool idea. Um, this is before Vince had done anything on me too, so kind of give him the credit for that one. And then yeah, these are all just geometric stuff. This I'm going to go to last because it is my most recent tattoo and it is kind of where I'm building from after this and it's my most like meaningful in terms of like what I like to do. Not most meaningful. My most meaningful tattoo, I would say, a lot of people have tattoos from loved ones who have passed away and stuff like that. So this tattoo is of my brother who, as you guys know, has not passed away. It is Jeremy's birthday, the one right below the palm tree in Roman numerals, on my wrist. No, Jeremy has not passed away, but it's different because a lot of people get like loved ones who pass away, but Jeremy is just like my my best friend in my life. Someone I probably the person I look up to the most in my life as far as being a good person, being responsible. He just, me and Jeremy have been together since I was a little kid. We've always done the same thing. I was always that little brother that decided to do what he did. And it's actually funny because it's the first time in our entire lives that I'm not going the path he's going, right? Jeremy's a firefighter for LA County, as you guys know. He's actually been fighting the Malibu fire for all of us. So thank you to all those firemen as well who are fighting alongside my brother. It's just funny because it, it reminds me now that like, even though this is the first time in our lives we've taken a different path, we are still just as close as we've ever been. I miss the kid like crazy. Having him on my wrist is just, it's just like always gonna be a reminder of, of him when I'm, when I'm not with him. And you know, like we grow up, we grow up. You know, he's got, he might have a wife one of these days, soon to be a family maybe in the next couple years. And, and we're gonna have to split paths. We can't like live with each other our entire lives, guys. So that is probably my, my, my most genuine meaningful tattoo. This is probably my most like passionate meaning tattoo. Um, one cool thing I like about this 
this tattoo is Jeremy's actually very against tattoos and he thought it was very stupid when I wanted to get a tattoo relating to him on my body and as soon as I got it that fool was grabbing my wrist and just showing everybody which made me feel happy that I got it even though I didn't think he would like that I had it and he ended up loving it so that's that on my leg here I'm gonna have to get some pants down here today I have three tattoos this is Barcelona my first ever tattoo, okay? I got that tattoo on my first ever trip to Barcelona. For many reasons, that was just one of the most hectic, insane, crazy, happy, sad trips of my entire life. And it was a time when I really wanted the tattoo and I figured there was no other better place to get it. The story behind it is funny because Tanner Fox, as you guys know, was supposed to get it with me. And the tattoo artist guy ended up being a dick and didn't give it to Tanner. Ended up halfway through my tattoo, we just started treating us like shit. There's just so many reasons why I remember that tattoo. Barcelona is one of my favorite places I've ever been on this planet, and it's just one of my favorite tattoos. Now down below it is the tattoo that Tanner ended up getting with me. We got that for a prank video. It's uh, MF, stands for Mike Ferguson or motherfucker. <laughs> in like old font or whatever that is so we got that for a prank video me and Tanner so Tanner also has that I think up closer to like his waist and then this tattoo is a son that me and Sonny have if you guys know Sonny he was building a lot of stuff for us at the old house still builds a lot of stuff he just built the bayou or whatever that they just built that was just an in the moment tattoo something I wanted to get that was fun Sonny's one of my boys so don't regret that at all I still love the dude we always talk about our tattoos and how we can see him when we poop <laughs> And then I have a couple tattoos left on my leg right here. I'm not gonna pull my pants all the way down. I have a melted smiley face that I thought was really cool and I wanted a leg tattoo, so I got that. Good decisions. And then right here I have a cross, which is actually the most controversial tattoos of mine because I am not someone who goes to church every freaking week. I go to church every once in a while. I'm religious, but I'm not like super Christian. I'm not super anything. I'm just religious. I believe in a God. I'm at that age in my life. I think a lot of people are here where it's just like, we believe in a higher power. I was raised Christian, so I have a lot of Christian beliefs, but not everything. Christian and that's just that I just I believe that be the best person you can possibly be and only good karma will come from that only good will come from that and your impact on the world will only be good it's more of a metaphor for like the fact that I am not that religious but I believe my religion in terms of that is just be the best person you can possibly be and only good will come from that and obviously like I said I believe in a higher power I still go to church I love the lessons learned at church and I try to learn faith I just it's always been hard for me especially growing up as a kid who was forced to go to church by my my parents um nothing wrong with that mom you know I, I respect you for that but that kind of killed church for me so I've been trying to go back a little bit but I might have missed a couple I don't know I also have a little skeleton peace sign right here that was just an impulse decision that needs to be touched up <laughs> and this final tattoo Vince did this camera tattoo, okay? And I think it's literally one of the best tattoos I've ever seen. He absolutely killed it. I gave him a platform, almost like a skeleton of like what this tattoo was. We literally stripped everything out of it and he redid everything for me in maybe 45 minutes max. And this turned out to be one of my favorites and everyone else's favorites tattoo. My plans for my tattoo is gonna be something that wraps into this, that's the same theme, and then something different theme that comes up here, which the thing that wraps into this wraps through. I know that sounded confusing, guys, but that is what my tattoos mean. Thank you for watching today video. If you guys want to subscribe, be sure to subscribe. If you don't, you know, it doesn't matter. Pick your thing. Go go watch another creator if you want. I want people here on my channel who enjoy watching my content. And maybe just subscribe. Maybe if, if you don't really love my content right now, you, you just want to give another chance, watch another video, guys. I will see you in two days. I've already begun filming for that video, so peace.